Hi, my name is Al Carthy. I'm a teacher with the Ottawa Carlton District School Board in Ottawa, Canada. And uh, I wrote this little extension to help me take attendance with my online meets, oddly enough. When you first install the extension, you'll see this screen, this little thanks for installing. Um, it includes a number of pages of tips in terms of how to get started and taking attendance and, and such and such. The text here will be modified as, as time goes on, but gives you an overview, some, some tips and uh, uh, guidance for, for getting started. Once you're done with, the, uh, with these tips, click the little red X and it goes away. You can always bring that screen back up by clicking on the blue question mark at the bottom, or if you click on the version information on the bottom left, you can see updates and changes that have happened, bug fixes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera new features that, uh, that are, have been added to the extension. Those are always there available for you. When you get started, your class lists will be empty, or your class list will be empty. You can quickly add them to your own classes by clicking Add and typing the name of your class. I'm going to call this one Sample. But uh, you can name it whatever you want. You can then enter your students' names. You can type them. You can copy and paste them from another spreadsheet if you have that there. Typically, in my experience anyways, and what I've heard from other people, it will be first name, space, last name. Case doesn't matter whether they're uppercase upper or lowercase. You can also, if you have your files or your class list in a separate file. So here I have my sample class list. Click, open, and now you can see the students in my class. And the way that the extension works is it starts with a list of people who you expect to be on the call. Here's your entire class list. And then as the students join the meeting, a check mark is prepended to their name to indicate that they've arrived. And in the background, I store the, uh, the time at which they arrived. We'll see that in just a second here once I join the meet. Before the meet gets going, there's one additional screen that's going to pop up in just a moment here that makes sure that all of your settings are copacetic, that, uh, that everything is good to go before we um, kick things off. And so right now it's telling me that the time is 10.23, or sorry, 1.23, but the meeting step start time is, uh, is actually set to 3.15, or 1.15, because I've been recording this video for a while. Click this little blue stop icon up here in the toolbar, and you'll see that the, the start time is now set to 13.23, and that's a value that will be saved into the, the text file when, uh, when you export your attendance. This little check mark here allows you to monitor who joined the call and how long they stayed on the call. And it really does is it runs a process in the background and every minute it checks to make sure that the students are still there. For this to work, you either have to have the grid view extension working, installed and working, or we're gonna have a change to the uh, the Google tile layout, clicking the vertical ellipsis in the bottom right corner and changing the line, the uh, layout to the tile view. Okay. Now this screen is big right now. If I close this little red X, there we have the screen. And notice that it kind of hides itself a little bit hover over it, it comes back, but it comes. you can actually drag this screen to any point that you want, or this little window, to any point that you want on the screen, and it will remember that location for your next meeting. So, we have our attendance going. I can actually even show and hide this field, my field, the attendance field, by clicking on the little check mark at the bottom here. It makes it appear and disappear, again, click on it. And so as the students arrive, they will get a little check mark appended to their name. Try this here, if I click on my people list here, it 
these are all the people that are currently on my call. And notice, once we get that, and I'm going to jump back out of that again, over here, Al Kahi appeared at the bottom of the list here with a question mark, because that name wasn't on the class list before, but the person is on the call. And so if anyone unexpectedly arrives in the call, their names will be added to the list automatically, nothing that you have to do. I just forced the issue here by, by clicking on the, the people icon. Um, again, nothing that you have to do to take attendance. As the students arrive, their names will get a check mark beside them, and in the background, the, the time will be recorded. Once you end your call, we get our list, we have all of our attendants, and we can now click the little icon here, the disk icon, and that will save the attendance file to your downloads directory with all of the names that were on the list, the time at which the students arrived, the number of minutes that they were in the meeting, assuming that you had that checkbox enabled. And there you have it. Uh, a few other features in the uh, in the toolbar here, as we've seen, the uh, the folder icon allows you to uh, to read your names from a from an existing file. The little disk icon, or sorry, the trash can icon here will allow you to uh, delete a particular class if you don't want that class anymore or if you misentered mis the uh, the class name. The little uh, eraser icon here will remove, notice the question mark at the beginning of my name here. If I click that, it removes that, uh, that check mark or question mark in the file. Uh, you can also delete all of the names in the, in the class if you want to empty out your class list for whatever reason. One last option under the uh, sample menu or sorry, the uh, class list dropdown. If you choose the reset, that will clear all of the uh, all of the fair, all of the uh, saved classes. So it's a way of um, purging your class lists from the uh, from the extension. And there you have it in a nutshell. Enter your class list, join the meet. Attendance is taken automatically. Nothing that you have to do. However, as I said before, if you do want to monitor attendance, then you must change to the t uh, the tiled layout or use the grid view extension so that all of the students who are in the meet are on the screen. There you have it. If you have any questions or concerns, um, there is, sorry, there is a Facebook page that allows you to uh, get updates. I, I post things regularly. There's also a, a YouTube channel where I will post videos on a, on a regular basis. Um, you can find my contact information. I would prefer that you, uh, send questions through the uh, the Facebook page, but uh, you can get my, my name and, uh, and uh, email address uh, from, I think it's under that, uh, nope, that's gonna take me to the, uh, that's gonna take me to the, to the Facebook page. I didn't mean to do that. If we go to the help, how do I use this page? Sorry, got myself a little confused there. At the bottom, you can see my coordinates and and how to how to contact me. But again, preferably through the uh, through the Facebook page. Thanks, and I hope that this little extension is uh, useful to you. Thank you very much.